It's a mental illness that is often misunderstood. Eating disorders most often strike teens and young women. And Heather, accessing treatment can be a challenge. Yeah, that's why a group of Calgary families have come together to try and help others struggling with eating disorders. They say there's a gap in care within the Alberta health system, and it's something they're trying to fill. At 19 years old, Nicole Calper is looking towards a bright future. But her teen years have been filled with struggle. It started with me just like unintentionally restricting how much I was eating and then I realized hey this is something that I have complete control over. In a matter of months anorexia took over Nicole's life almost taking it completely. When I was in the hospital waiting um, in line I actually had a heart attack at the age of 11. It was probably the worst thing possible um, to see your um, daughter close to the brink of death um, and not be able to assist in any way. Today, Nicole is healthy, thanks in part to nine months she spent in treatment. But because Calgary does not have a residential eating disorder facility, Nicole was forced to go to the U.S. Currently, if people need a long-term intensive admission to a residential program, um, they would either have to go to Edmonton, again, there's a limitation of beds, um, or they would have to go out of province. The Edmonton Residential Care Program is covered by Alberta Health, but any out-of-province or out-of-country treatment is not. It's why Nicole's family is joining forces with a group of other parents to try and bring a residential program here. One of the principal goals is to provide it for a no-fee service uh, so that, uh, that those families that can't afford uh, professional care can get that treatment. The Silver Linings Foundation is also working to form support groups for parents and others impacted by eating disorders. They're holding an open house Thursday night. For Nicole, it's a chance to offer hope. There's no doubt in my mind that if I hadn't gone into residential treatment, I'd be dead. And the thought that people who don't have as much money can't give their children what they need or even their friends or their loved ones the care that they deserve, it's heartbreaking. The Silver Lining Foundation's open house will be held Thursday night at the Pioneer Lodge. We have more information on our website under links in the news.